Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do a basic loading screen from when you go from the main menu, you hit play, and you start loading your level. Or you can do this wherever you like, this is just how to do the loading screen. So for me, I've just made a very quick image in Photoshop which just looks like this, and, and I'll show you how to do this in Unreal as well. So if you get this and just simply add it into Unreal, import it in, so just simply drag and drop it like that. Mine is a 1920 by 1080 JPEG file. And then what we're going to do next is create a widget for this. So I'm just going to right click, go to user interface and get a widget blueprint. And you might want to make a new folder to keep this organized, but I'm just going to do this here. I'm going to call this loading screen widget like so. And then we'll go open that up straight away. And then what we're going to do is just get an image from the top left palette up here like so. Position X will be zero, position Y will also be zero, size X 1920, size Y 1080 like so change the anchor to be the whole screen like that. And now for the under the appearance, under brush, we're going to set the image to our loading screen. So mine looks like that. Now you can see we have our loading screen as a widget here. And then we can leave it as that. I just like to add one more tiny detail in here, which is under primitive. And we'll just get the circular throbber like that, which as you can see is this thing that you see here. And you can just get another throbber like that actually it might do that one instead of a circular but as you can see you can just choose either one you like so if I didn't put the three if I didn't put the ellipses there I could put this here like so or I could maybe just scale this up so you can change the number of pieces here so I can have a 10 instead of three I might just leave it as three and you can change all these different parts like this and so again with the circular throbber you do the same thing you can just change everything that you want so you can change the number of pieces the period in between each one so if we have 10 pieces the period of one you see it looks something like that if we put it down to five it's a bigger gap in between period of 10 they go a lot slower like so i think i'll do a period of three with 10 pieces you just mess about this to get it perfect for you i'll just put that down there it doesn't matter too much i'll just anchor it as well so this is just my basic loading screen which i want so we can just compile save and close that straight away and what I'm going to do is then open up my main menu map. So this works if you have a separate map for your main menu. So I do here, hit save, and then we'll open up our main menu widget. Main menu widget here, we go to our graph, then off of the start button, we have up here, we've got the open level, which is going to move that out, and we'll come off of the clicked event, we'll create a widget. This widget is going to be our loading screen, loading screen widget, return value, add to viewport, so the same way you normally would with any other widget. And then we're just going to simply put a delay in after this. So hold down D, left click, you can leave that as 0.2 seconds. And what this is going to do is essentially put the loading screen on screen, and then it will open the level. And so for the amount of time it takes to load your level and load everything in for you, the loading screen will be on screen instead of the main menu. So this will work perfectly now. So again, do this wherever you like, just make sure it's set up like this. Create this widget, add to viewport, and then put the delay just so it puts this on screen first. So now if we compile, hit save, and close this, we hit play, we're in our main menu here. And if we press start, we get that loading screen, and we're now in, like so. Now, because mine is just gonna load very quickly because I have nothing for it to take a while to load, I'll put the delay up a little bit, but I'd say keep it at point two, just so that it has time to put it on screen and then it will only be on screen for as long as it needs to. So I try this again, we have the loading screen like so and it looks something like this. And now we're in our level and this works perfectly. So everything works again and we just have this loading screen here like so. And if you leave it as point two, like I say, it'll be on screen for only as long as it needs to be until the level has loaded. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. We've created and imported our loading screen, made it into a widget with the circular throbber down here. And we've got it on screen for only the amount of time we need it for the level to be loading. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.